Okay, I'm back. Uh, the battery is well rested. This is test two. Uh, test one was last night. Starting voltage of the battery 12.6. Uh, after the wheel settled down at uh, a steady speed, the input volts of the battery is 12.41. The input amps to the motor was uh, 2.35 and that's going through this fixed resistor that I've set in there. It's two little 12 volt 7 watt light bulbs um, in parallel and that's less than 1 ohm. Um, my meter isn't accurate enough to measure less than 1 ohm very well so it's less than 1 ohm. So there's 2.35 amps going in at that steady speed and that's with an empty wheel, nothing on it, no coils. Um, and the speed on the little pickup coil under there that we're finding voltage uh, to measure our speed was at 17.7 volts. So now today I fell asleep on the couch last night. <laughs> Um, today what we're going to do is um, the same test basically but with this one coil set and core on the wheel now they're not engaged there's no not even a switch on there um, there's an open circuit right uh, like this picture here now there's not a switch on there but it's an open circuit uh, now what I did do is I put a meter on it, all right, it's an open circuit, but I put a meter on it and that's this fourth meter. Those are AC volts and just because we're not going to be shorting it out, we can look at the voltages as it climbs to its steady speed just for interest. Uh, now the battery this morning uh, is at 12.59 uh, yesterday's starting voltage was 12.60 so we're very very close um, it's not identical but we're very 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 close and this battery rested uh, all night and it's very well rested so I think we can just go ahead and get started what I'm going to do is give the wheel a flip uh, turn the switch on and the motor will speed up. It's not going to go as fast as uh, previous, or, you know, it shouldn't. That's our guess. Um, and it should use more amps, right? Because of the attraction of the magnets to that iron, like we talked about in the previous video. Um, but there's no lensing going on. It's an open circuit. And, um, oh, we have some specs. Uh, the iron core weighs 300 grams. And the coil is a set. It's a 25 uh, American wire gauge magnet wire. And as they test across those two leads right there, if I flip that meter to resistance measurement, it would measure 61.4 ohms resistance. And the coil set together with no iron, just the copper uh, and the little plastic spools is 1.47 kilograms. So basically one and a half kilograms of copper on there. So I'm going to give the wheel a flip, flip the switch, um, and I'm going to set the camera down. And we'll look at the meters, let it settle down at a speed just like uh, the previous video, write them down, and we'll call it a vid. Um, not a whole lot of explaining uh like we did in the first ooh, in the first test so let me just set her down here while i give her a flip and i'll zoom that in for you in a second here we go the meters are all on and Zoom her in. So the speed voltage is rising slowly. Uh, there's an attraction again, remember, to that core. 
the magnets to the core. Uh, we have the same resistor, right? So there's no variable resistor. That's what I was trying to point out uh, in the other video. There's no variable resistor to worry about. So we have the same resistance. I have the meters in a different order just because I, when I was working with the battery. Um, that's how it ended up and I thought it was easier to see the wires this way. But nevertheless, we're letting her speed up. We have a voltage in the coils of somewhere near 40 volts AC at this speed. Right? Again, we're measuring the speed in voltage with the little coil right here under the wheel. And it comes down and we're just measuring the voltage. It's not shorted out. Right? Neither, neither are the uh, test coils. So with the added drag on the wheel, uh, we're using more amperage, we can see already. We're going to let it run for, for a minute. Although it looks like it's settled. Because there's a little more work on the wheel with that iron pulling on those magnets, um, it didn't take as long to get to uh, our rest uh, speed. But we'll let it go for a minute. Similar time length as the last test. I think it's only fair to the battery. But she's gained a little bit. She's settling. Um, again, I fell asleep last night and um, doing this this morning. So this battery is very well rested. It, it was at that voltage, 12.59, which was our starting voltage uh, for a long time. So it had settled down, had a good chance. So obviously the the speed of the wheel is much less, right? In the previous video with nothing on the wheel, uh, it was going 17.7 .7 volts worth of speed on this little coil. Now nothing has changed there. Motors using more amperage, more current, because there's a little more work it's having to be done. So it's pulling a little more current because of the attraction to that iron. And I think we can call this a test. Everything's settled down. Give it 30 more seconds. Just to be sure. Alright, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to write those down. And it looks like our speed has settled at 11.9. So I'll write that down right now. Uh, input voltage from the battery, 12.41. And the input amps are 2.49 on the far left there. a starting voltage on the battery of 12.59. So we're going to get that down as 
well. All right. Looking good. Let's call it a video, a test. Let's zoom this back out. Grab on it, sorry for the shaky shake. Uh, flip the switch. And she's going to settle down. Oop, slow down. Settle down. I almost fell down myself. So, as just a recap, let me try and adjust glares here. Uh, the first test was with an empty wheel, starting at 12.6 volts on the battery, well rested. Uh, after it settled at its steady speed, we had 12.41 volts on the battery, 2.35 amps input to the motor, and 17.7 .7 volts on the small pickup coil showing the speed in volts. So now the second test, uh, we had one coil set on there, and the specs were here, we gave them one and a half kilograms basically on a 300 gram core. And I keep saying in my videos and um, this two to one ratio, you know, I don't know why that's in my brain and I apologize, but uh, the ratio is more like five to one of my copper to iron. If you look at the specs here, 300 gram core and a one and a half uh, kilogram uh, copper coils. So I don't know why, why that's sticking in my brain. So we had this uh, coil set on here. That's the 25 uh, gauge wire set. And we had a starting voltage of 12.9 volts on the battery. Very well rested as well. Uh, we got... <laughs> We got an input voltage from the battery after a few minutes of running and uh, letting it settle of 12.41 volts. So we see that more or less stayed the same. It's a deep battery. That's why I wanted to go get it to make this clearer to everyone. And me too. <laughs> and we had an input amp amperage draw uh, to the motor of... 2.49 amps right and this gave us the speed on our little pickup coil uh, sh in voltage showing our speed difference of 11.9 volts right so it didn't get as high not nearly right and um, it's because of the attraction to the iron Again, there's no lensing going on. If there was lensing going on, the wheel would stop, believe me. So it's the attraction of the iron and that configuration with the U allowing the interaction of the magnetism from one side of the magnet to the other um, allows a lot of magnetism going through there, right? Whoop. Sorry. So the wheel went slower. Uh, in having to do more work, it used more amps, more current from the battery. And we had uh, initial conditions that were very, very, very similar. Uh, Percentage-wise, really, very, very similar. So, next test uh, is going to be the one coil set and cores. A core, the one coil set on the U-core uh, with the closed circuit or shorted uh, right out and we'll do the same thing let it settle and um, record the voltage amperage and the speed and then we'll discuss <laughs> there will be a lot to discuss now I think and again uh, thanks for being patient with me um, this is test 2 or has been and um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with the battery let it rest a good bit and um, do the third part of the test and this will be this will bring things together and um, show us a lot of interesting things and we can make some very interesting assumptions um, together and I've been making these assumptions on my own I've seen this happening for myself um, and I apologize for my selfishness there um, anyways 
but we'll be able to, to look at the results and um, together we'll be able to see it and discuss it and hopefully more and more and more people try it because I see this as a lensless um, and attractionless way to generate electricity which is very cool um, once we get this tuned up so that uh, this speed is very close to this speed um, then we can add as many coil sets as we want around here we'll make and we've had a peek at the juice that's why I wanted to give you guys a peek at it um, we'll have more than enough electricity to feed this um, motor and give it what it wants and then I think much more so we'll see what goes on we'll be able to speculate together now hopefully <laughs> or more of us and um, I'll talk to you later I'm gonna I'm gonna um, get the battery back in shape like I did before and I'll be making another video thank you very much for everyone's support and watching I'll talk to you later